Hey, what's up? What's up, live? Welcome to another live stream. Friday, um, 7, 8 p.m. I don't really know what time it is. I just got back. I wanna give you guys a quick update on a few things and also do a little tip. I'm not expecting a lot of people on this stream. You know why? Friday night, downtown is packed. Everybody's out um, having fun, so. We'll see who we get on this. So what I'm going to do is do a quick um, little update, give you guys a quick little tip, and Q&A if you guys want. Drop some questions below. I'm going to enjoy my dinner while we do this too. You guys all know I love watermelon. So actually, real quick, update. I'll show you guys the construction we got going on in the office. Grand App's office. Man, Mr. Ross. You want to say anything to the live nation? Love everybody. All right. Got me a phone call. See you later. <laughs> so we got uh, this is gonna be our new sales room that we're building. Look at that awesome drywall job. So pretty much go back here. We're gonna have five workstations. We gotta patch this drywall up. Yep, is Kimberly is definitely definitely coming along. Let me give you guys a different angle on this and uh, show you. Bam, so that tape right there, that green tape is where that wall is gonna be. So we're gonna have a wall that goes all the way to the top. And then here, you're gonna be able to walk around this side, and then you can walk around that side too. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. So we got a new guy, Dan, a new sales guy. If you go to my Facebook page right now, you Dan, he's in the, the sales picture. We just posted a record. We got back-to-back -back best sales. Back to back best sales month of 2016, 2016. Um, and that's courtesy of our sales team. So what I did was I posted a picture and Dan is to the far left, he's our brand new guy. Um, he's gonna be on with us starting Monday. So Monday he'll be with us. You know, look for a, a team member update from Mr. Dan. So what I wanna talk to you guys about is a quick little tip. I'm gonna give this based on a couple experiences that I just did. Um, if you watch the Grand App Show, then you know we talked about customer service. Yeah, customer service and um, you know customer support. So drop the questions below as we talk about this. Um, so I was, you know, you guys know I work out, right? So I work out about seven days a week and there's this new guy at the gym and I never met him before. Brandon talks to him quite a bit. And um, you know, he just, he would always see me uh, with Brandon. He's like, you know, you know, what's going on? You know, who's your friend? And you know, he introduced himself. He's like, hey man, my name's Aaron. And I was like, you know, great to meet you. My name is Chris. So we just start talking and um, I'm naturally a talker. I talk all the time. So what happened was I started chatting with him. And as I was chatting with him, you know, we talked about the gym industry and we talked about where he was now. We talked about where he wanted to go. He wants to be a trainer. And I told him, I said, look, man, I'll be super honest with you. My number one problem with gyms are the personal trainers because the personal trainers don't come up to you. They don't build a relationship. They don't talk to you, at least to me. You know, I might look, you know, I might look fit, right? So they don't want to come up and talk to me, but they should come talk to me, you know, because I might know some friends who come up to me and say, Chris, how are you so fit? You know, I, I, want to, I want to get in shape like you, right? So then I'm going to be like, well, I don't have time to train you, so you go talk to somebody else. Um, so, I mean, that's just, those are facts, right? That's what I would do. So, you know, but they don't do that. And I was talking to him and his name is Aaron Strong. If you're watching this, shout out to you, man. We just became Facebook friends. Thank you for the, uh, the ad and the support. But, you know, we're talking about it and I asked him, I was like, you know, honestly, man, the, the, the key to success if you are an employee, if you run a business, it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. It's about relationships. So even if you have friends, family, girlfriends, wives, husbands, boyfriends, you know, it comes down to the relationship and it comes down to communication. We talked about this in the Grand App Show was communication is key, right? Building a relationship with somebody that's memorable. Don't just treat people like, oh, hey, good to see you. Thank you for coming into the store. Thank you for coming into the gym and just let them walk out. You wanna build a relationship with that person right? So if I come into the gym, you want to say, oh, Chris, you know, nice to meet you. Um, why do you work out so hard? You know, like, what's your routine? Start building a relationship with that person. And the faster you do that, 
the more that person's going to come back. Um, you know, I'll touch on me and Brandon last weekend, Memorial weekend, you know, we went to a store, we went, uh, we went shopping, right? And I went, I think Friday or maybe Saturday. I don't really know Saturday. So I went to a store Saturday, um, you know, and I had great customer service, hands down the best customer service I've ever had. The general manager came up to me and she was like, you know, I think that you should, you know, I think that you should wear this. Um, and I was like, all right, you know, I'll try those on. She made a joke about it, so I tried it on. And then um, she actually, I was trying on a few different things. She came to the dressing room and was like, Chris, like, where's where's my shorts guy? You know, where's he at? And I put my hand out the dressing room, like, I'm right here. She was like, oh, did, did the 32s fit? And I'm like, no. So she was building that rapport, that relationship. You know, then she walked up to me as I was still there, and she was like, hey, I'm clocking out. And I was like, all right, you know, thank you for the support. Thank you for the service. I appreciate it. Um, you know, she was clocking out. Then I was looking at something different as she was clocking out she walked by and she was like Chris you don't want that that's not you that's not gonna fit you and I was like thank you so much like, like thank you for telling me your honest opinion you know number one because you work in the store number two you know you could you could see like how it probably like fit me you know that's not my, my size type right so it was amazing she clocked out she was 20 minutes after she was helping me and then she remembered my name so I was like Brandon you guys all know Brandon if you know me, if you're on the stream. Um, I was like, Brandon, you have to go to this store, right? You need some new shorts, go to the store, check it out, right? So Brandon goes, as soon as I walk in, you know what she says? She was working. She said, Chris, what did you forget? What? She remembered my name two days later, right, to build that relationship. As soon as she said that, I knew instantly that I'm coming back. So let's say that, you know, if... Um, Whatever your profession is. Right now, actually, real quick, whoever's on the stream, I would like for you to write below in the comments what your profession is. You know, my profession is uh, a few things. You know, I own multiple companies, so one of them is marketing, the other one's flooring. You know, we need to build strong relationships with people. You know, if somebody comes in, they're a prospect, we need to talk to that person, we need to remember that person's name, uh, remember a special fact about them, and I'm, I'm gonna be super honest, it's probably one of the easiest things you could possibly do. And, and you know, in business and customer support, it's literally just talk to people. That's it, just genuinely be interested in people, talk to people, get to know people, ask them more questions than you talk about yourself, and just learn. That's all you have to do. It's, a, it's the most simple tip, but that tip is literally gonna take you from here to there, hands down. Um, so we got uh, Francis, Francis Kane Sales, we got Marketing Loan Officer. Um, I mean, loan officer, right? You know, building a relationship as you're giving out those loans, those people are gonna refer more people back to you if you give that awesome customer service, if you remember their name, right? If you remember a special fact about that person, you know, if you hit them up, um, you know, on social media and send them something, or say, hey, I was just thinking about you, you know, we had a conversation about puppies, and I know you like puppies, here's a really funny video that I saw about puppies, you should watch it, right, and stand out above it. Um, so I, I mean, it's uh, it's just about building a relationship. Once you do that, people are going to come back to you. For example, that store, I brought Brandon back. Word of mouth worked instantly as soon as I did that. Um, so that's uh, that's just that's just an easy tip. But um, it's so overlooked, and I don't think people do it enough. I don't think people do it well, especially what I've experienced. I'm a consumer. I go out, I buy stuff, right? I experience real world. As much as I work and it's Friday night and I'm here in the office, right? Grand Ab's the office, right? You guys, you guys know what I do, but you know, I still go out and do stuff and I, I experience the world, so I'm observing around me. But that's, that's what we got. Um, Carol Lake, management. Carol Lake, what are you managing me? Uh, I'm gonna call some people out. Thank you guys for joining on a Friday evening. You guys are crazy, just like me. Uh, Melanie, what's up? Viola, what's up? Kimberly, welcome. Uh, well, so we got Crystal, appreciate you. Todd Glenn, how are you doing, man? Haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, Therissa, how you doing? Um, Daniela, uh, I'm terrible at pronoun pronouncing names. Francis, uh, who else we got? Lenina, welcome. Daniela, um, you seem really good with people. I mean, I, look, I'll tell you the only that I'm good with people I genuinely care about people. I, I, I love people. I love talking to people. Why do, you guys, why do you guys think that I reply to all your comments? Why do you think that I go back and I try to direct message everybody? I genuinely love stories. I love people. I love learning because 
if I could take away one thing that you teach me, right, then I'm gonna be better off in my knowledge so I could grow my knowledge, right? And if I could give you something, then I'll give you something um, in return for that. Uh, Carrie, what's up? Hope your, um, uh, your investment's going well. Brandon Ross, you wanna get in the stream? Look at that guy. Acting like a little clown. I heard him talking about customer service. Customer service, man. Who's the customer support king, Chris? Brandon. Who's the customer support? You know what? I genuinely, he was talking about genuinely liking people, being personal, loving stories, this and that. I genuinely like customer support and customer service, which is crazy. Who likes dealing with problems, right? Who likes being a firefighter, as Chris calls it, like putting out fires, um, you know, keeping everybody happy? Not a lot of people like that. Not a lot of people have the thick skin, the capabilities of actually hearing people's BS, hearing them complain, you know, customer's always right. We talked about that today. Not everybody likes that, but I like that. I like helping people. I like um, solving problems. I like keeping people happy. I'm happy. I make sure to wake up every morning and be happy, come to the office happy, make people in the office happy, and I like making my clients happy too. So I'm very personal, like Chris, um, so I do a lot of the, or I used to do all the customer support and service, things like that. We actually hired somebody else who's you know doing a lot of that also, but I'm head of support, so I get a lot of the you know tech issues, this is going, you know, whatever, and I gotta help you know resolve problems like that. But like Chris's story with the, with the at Tommy Hilfiger, I don't know if you said where they were at, but this chick that was working over Memorial Day weekend, she had put like 24, no more than that, maybe like 30 hours or something like that in a matter of three days on Memorial Day weekend. And when Chris came to the shop, she was still like chirpy, happy, this and yeah. that. She had clocked out, still helped Chris. That is great customer service. That's great support. Chris had mentioned he brought me back the next day. If he wouldn't have had such great service, he might not have said, Brandon, let's go to let's go to Tanger Outlet the next day. He was like, ah, you know, it was fine, it was like, I got some clothes, but since he has such great customer service, he told that story. And then I was like, man, I need some new clothes. Chris was like, okay, let's go there. She was there the next day. She treated me great. I know her name, Tanya. I still know her name. So next time I go back there, I'm gonna make sure to peek my head in Tommy Hilfiger, see if she's working, yep. say what's up, check out discounts. She gave me a, a coupon for next time I go. I'm gonna make sure to check it out. So just for her, just from her being so happy, happy to help out Chris, you know, I'm gonna always go there. You yep. know what I'm saying? So that's how far just being happy, happiness is a mindset, right? Yeah. If you wanna be happy, you can be happy. Everybody goes through stuff throughout life, you know, the ups, the downs, some yeah. more downs. Yeah. Everybody less, I'm gonna be so depressed, but like, yeah, it's a mindset. Deal I mean, with it, everybody's problems. It. You can make good out of any situation, right? Mm -hmm. You can make good. There's a silver lining, it's a cliche, you know, but there really is. It just depends if you want to make it. Even if you have to fake it, even if you have to say, ah, this happened, but you know what? Maybe this would happen down the road. Make something up, you know what I'm saying? Make something up. Say, if this happened to me right now, but maybe something would happen down the road where it would have hurt me. It would have made me even worse off, you know what I'm saying? Make something up just to fake yourself out to be happy. If you want to be sad and depressed about it, it's not gonna get you far in life. It's gonna bring you down. It's gonna bring your coworkers down. It's gonna bring your business down. It's gonna bring your work life down, your relationship down, your family life down. Everything's gonna go down the tube. So be happy, make yourself happy. I've gone through some things in my life that are not the best. I've had my downs and you know, for a while, I would be sad about it or depressed about it for a long time, but not today. You know, I, I actually, yeah, cause, shake it, yeah, you know? Cause yeah, yeah you had I'm a situation. Some watermelon, bro. That's fine. <laughs> you, had, you had a situation, I was pretty impressed. So Brandon had a situation that was super personal, like just just really bad, um, that just happened recently. And honestly, like I've, you know, I've been with him for a while and when it happened, I was kind of like, man, like, you know, I, I, he might not shake this for a week, you know, and I, I mentally thought that I was like, he's not going to shake it for a week. We'll give him some time. Literally the next day I was so impressed. Like I woke up, he had a Facebook status is super positive. Like, Hey, love and life. You know, I mean, you know what he did there? I'll tell you exactly what he did there was he had such a bad experience and, and something real personal happened to him. He said, you know what? I'm not going to let this get to me, even though I'm still pissed about it. I'm just going to fake it and be like, you know what? I'm positive and just flip and just go, you know what? I'll be positive today. And then it just cycles and you forget about it. Yeah. Water under the bridge. Like, like, what are you going to do about it? It's reality. That's the problem. People, they let it get caught. So like face the facts, what happened? Can you change it? No. Okay. Right. Then, then go be positive. Right. right. It's simple. 
you can't change it, let it happen, deal with it, move on. You yeah. know, you only have so many hours in a day, you only have so many days in a year. Why let this one incident? Which sports mine? No matter this one right here. No. It's fine. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> you only have such a short life to live, whatever. It's like, don't let one little thing um, bring you down for the longest time. It's not worth it. It's really not. not worth it. Let's get into some questions and comments. Mackenzie. Uh, Power of Attraction, absolutely. Melissa, Grand Rapids. Um, dang it. It's not... I'm going to... I forget the exact name. I apologize. But we're going to play dodgeball. Coming soon. Melissa, as soon as it opens, we'll be there. Uh, Melanie, watermelon again. Yes, I love watermelon. It's my favorite food in the world. Uh, Carrie, it's all about uh, looking over your shoulder. You can come close forward behind you. It's my best friend. Yep, that's right. Positive thinking, law of attraction. Honestly, law of attraction. Love that. Brandon, what's the story um, for you? Remember? God, man, I have so many stories. What about the, remember, remember the, the law of attraction? We had the, you were like, kill list for deals. You got a ton of them, remember? Yeah. Um, you're talking about the 16K month, maybe? Yeah, to like or close recently? them down. No, like two years ago. When I was like, you have to write all your deals down and you can close them. Did I just close them or something? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is law of attraction. So what he's getting at, and I, I've done this multiple times, um, you know, within working at Grand Apps, is we kind of call it a kill list, but it's just, okay, so there's deals out there that, you know, they're pending, they're warm, they're whatever, and it's like, what am I going to close them? How am I going to close them? This and that. He said, you know what? Law of attraction. Write these deals down. Oh, yeah, it was a 300 Ionia. I was on just a white sheet. It was all the fitness athletes. Yep. Got it. So he was like, write these deals down, right? You're going to close them. I'm going to come to the office every day. I'm going to look at this list, and I'm going to say, I got to close that. Got to close that. Law of attraction. Every time I'll come in, it's right in front of me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to nail it, nail it. And that was actually, I think that was around the time where I first started working full time at mm -hmm. Grand Ave. you didn't believe it. This is when I was, whatever. Um, you didn't believe law of so, Oh, that, okay. Um, I, yeah, I kind of didn't, right? It, it was something newer to me. I mean, I've always was like, um, you know, think positive, be positive, that type of deal. But really the law of attraction um, to being in a business set like that, it was new to me. And then there was actually um, a book around that that Chris wanted me to read that I read and watched some videos about it. But it was coming to the office every day. Focusing on this one task or these deals to close, I wrote them down. Oh, this is where I, was, I got on a tangent. But this is when I first started working full time at Grand App. So I, I quit my other job prematurely. I didn't have that much money in my bank account to actually survive if I wasn't going to get sales at Grand Apps. I would have been like, sorry, deuces, I got to go. So the reason that was so positive and so powerful was because I wrote down, it was like 10 deals, maybe 15 deals, something like that. Where I was like, I want to close in this month or a two month time. And literally, they just started getting crossed off on my list. One after another, one after another. I remember one time I got like three yeses in one day. And one of those was my first sale. And they just started coming in, knocking down, knocking down. And once you get that going, once you're in that, especially in sales, once you get that going, you start knocking them down. Then they just keep coming in. They just keep coming in. Your pipeline starts growing. And that, that's when I really started just to kick it off. Mm -hmm. You know? Moving it so far away. One more and I'm done. The Secret. I read that. It's a pretty good book. You are talking about. Brandon, a skeptic? No way. Well, look, we don't have... You guys think... You know what's funny? I'll talk about this too. Somebody sent me a Snapchat. If they're watching this, I don't really care. But they pretty much said, your hustle, Chris, is my weakness or something. And I was like, what? I'm like, no, get up and do it. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's easy for you in your perfect life. I just want to say that to you. Hmm. I was like, my life is not perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. Um, the only thing that I do is decide that I want to go here and I just do it. And I try to stay as positive as possible. I'm not the most positive person in the world, guys. Uh, you guys think that I'm, you know, like, oh, always positive. I just try to be as positive as I can in the situations because I've learned being negative sucks. It really does. Like, if you're negative, you suck all the energy out of the people around you, out of the situation. You suck out the creativity of how to solve that problem. And you just focus on complaining instead of focusing on the solution. When a problem comes up, what I do is I go, okay, here's a problem. These are the facts. How do we solve it? That's it. You know, I talked about it today. Clients or customers, when they come to you, they don't want to hear you talk back. They don't want to argue with you. They don't want to hear you bitch or complain. 
They just want to say, okay, what are the facts? How do we fix it? That's it. You know, so I try to stay as positive as I can. Uh, I'm not always positive, but um, yeah, I mean, so that's something that I did want to talk about because that uh, I was going to make a whole episode about that, a, a Facebook Live, but um, I'll just tackle that here. So that's uh, <clears throat> that's all we got. What do you guys got? Any uh, questions for me or B? While I eat a little bit more of my uh, dinner. I apologize. I eat on these things, guys. I just literally got here. I said I got to make a stream. Um, I have a meeting coming up real soon, so um, I'm going to oh, do this stream. Thinking. Yeah, I'm going to do this stream and then go to the meeting. So I got a multitask. I apologize. Someone call me a skeptic? Yeah, I so said you're a skeptic. Thanks, hey, thanks, Kerry, for having my back. There's no way I'm a skeptic. I, I like thinking outside of my normal thinking. I really do. I uh, appreciate people actually contradicting my thoughts. I appreciate people, you know, trying not to debate, but just have me think a different way. Because I might, you know, try it, I might not. You know, I think the way I think the way I think is actually pretty positive, and a lot of people pick up on it, you know, and like the way I, I work around problems, things like that. But I'm always open to, to suggestions. You know, how am I going to grow? How am I going to grow? How am I going to better myself if I don't take other people's opinions, especially people like Chris, who's a mentor? If I don't take his opinions and try to work them into my regular lifestyle, how am I going to better? If you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over, you're going to what? You're just going to plateau. You're going to yep. be the same person over. Your relationships aren't going to get better. Your business life isn't going to get better. Your friendships aren't going to get better. You're going to be the same person. So I'm definitely open to other people's opinions, um, philosophies, all of that. You know, love it. Yep, in the same way. I always try to challenge myself. And I'm, uh, hey, there's people, look, you guys want to see? So we got a little window. So this is where everybody walks by downtown. And the sidewalk is ri like right there. So people literally look down at us like, who are those crazy guys in this, in this building? I've had someone ask if these are apartment buildings. Yeah, I mean, it looks like an apartment, it's pretty nice. But um, yeah, that's, um, uh, we got a lot of people. Uh, Emily Wilson, thank you, haven't seen you in a while, hey. miss you too. Uh, we'll have to get together. Yeah, once we- uh, He's getting married. What, get married? Getting married. Yeah. I feel old now. Woo -woo. Thanks Emily for making me feel <laughs> like a grandpa. Uh, Francis, what's up, Mr. Kane, man? Good to see you killing it, Chris. Uh, always someone go up to you at high school. I appreciate that, man. I did not know that. I really appreciate that. That's uh, that's cool, man. Um, who else we got? Carol Lake, Life is a Book. Close a chapter, turn the page. Yep, that's right. Oh, yeah. I remember we always say don't go back a chapter. Yeah. Always move forward. Don't go back. Yep. I love that. Don't go back. Don't go back. Nice. Well, uh, well that's all we got. Thank you guys for watching. Quick little Friday night um live stream i don't want to keep you guys too long i know you guys got some stuff to do everybody's busy so um thank you guys for joining i'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my dinner see ya hope you guys enjoyed all the content let me know in the comments below what, what, what kind of content what kind of live streams you want me to do you want me to do at a different location um bring people on talk about a certain idea Tell me how to do my content. I'm not gonna put content out there and just force it down people's throat. I literally wanna get feedback so we can do content how you want it. What do you wanna hear about, right? You guys know my story and who I am, so what do you wanna hear? Um, let's do it, all right? See you guys later, happy Friday, and um, have a great weekend.